<clears throat> okay, so we're gonna take the first steps in uh, cracking up the enhanced input system and by making a menu button so we can eventually open up a full fully fledged menu but for now we will just be able to hit escape and exit the game because currently if we're in the game and hit escape nothing at all happens so it's a little bit awkward to get out of the play session when we test the game so I could for example hit F8 to dislocate myself uh, from the pawn and then stopping the simulator, uh, simulation you could also hit shift escape to to stop the simulation but we want to make it so that we exit on escape so going into the uh, content browser and into uh, the player blueprints uh, character blueprint player we can see here that the enhanced input system is active. So we have input actions. So this is the look system, how uh, the mouse and the camera is controlled currently. And here's the movement system. So it's way simplified from previously. So there's a lot of things uh, happening under the hood with the enhanced input system. So it's activated here. So we're casting to the player controller. So the controller is the holder uh, of this system. Uh, and then we assigning a new input uh, config, input mapping context uh, that we need to, to address and um, make basically. But we make a menu system and having a menu system, it's not always the case that we have a player pawn. So we might be in a situation where we only have the controller. We, we might be in the, in the pre-menu uh, before the game is launched, for example. So we're going to make a blueprint version of the player controller. So going into the content browser, uh, the blueprints, player blueprints. Hitting um, a right button and choosing, uh, choosing uh, blueprint class. We want to make a play, uh, player controller. I will have the prefix of PC player controller and make it um, base controller. We don't really need controller. It could be, be PC base. Oh, and save that. There was some other stuff saving. Um, you ignore that for now. So opening this one up, it's obviously completely uh, empty. We don't have anything because we haven't done anything. Uh, so when this one starts, we need to uh, uh, assign a new um, uh, mapping context. So what happens here enhanced input local player subsystem it's a subsystem there's uh, plenty of different kinds of subsystems that are like the railroad system of uh, unreal so if we right click and write subsystem we can see that we have several different to choose from uh, but we are after what was the we were after we were after the enhanced input uh, subsystem enhanced subsystem maybe so here we have <coughs> get enhanced input local player subsystem uh, these are basically the same so we're taking this one so we don't need an input here because we're in the play controller remember so this one what we did, what did we need more so this one basically checks do we actually have one we we, we can ignore that and then we will just add a mapping context. So add a mapping context. We could copy paste here, but I'm just gonna do it like this. Add mapping context. And hook it in to uh, begin play. So when this one goes live, we will add a mapping context. context. We don't have one yet, so we need to make one. 
<clears throat> Going into inputs, here we have them. Input mapping context, two of them. So this one is actually activated when we pick up a weapon. And this one is the default play controller one for, for the pawn controls. So let's make a new mapping context. And let's scroll down to input. We have several different inputs here, but right now we're only after the input mapping context, choosing that one. And we name it with the prefix IMC. Menu. Let's do menu and we can fill it up with different menu context sensitive button presses. And how let's take a look on how they have set up the default one. So so what is the mapping context? So we have mappings here and in the mappings they're tying up several different input actions. That's it. So if we open up our version it's obviously empty. So here with the mappings, we need to connect uh, input actions. And we have a folder here in input actions. Here are the current uh, input actions that uh, resides in this project. So if we take a look at jump, for example, we can see that it's quite simplistic in its form. So it's, it's a bool, it's a digital bool on off thing. So you press the button, you jump. That is it. And we can define why, because here we say pressed. We will make uh, the exact same one for our, we press a button and the menu will open. So for convenience and speed, we are gonna hit, mark this one and hit control D and make it input action menu. And save all. And with this one, we'll go into our menu and we add a mapping. We could find it here, input action and, and, and scroll around. But if we have plenty of them, we could also go. So we choose the one here, menu and go into our menu and hit this arrow here. So. Uh, mappable and all of these are um, essential when, when the menu starts to grow. But if we take a look what have happened in the default here, if, if we're taking at the jump, we can see uh, uh, they have assigned it to a keyboard and controller and touch. We will not have touch in this project, but, but we might end up with a controller. Uh, but other than that, uh, we currently disregarding the possibility of of uh, um, mapping to different buttons with a menu system. That's way, way, way later when the project scales. Um, and this one is also connected to how we map it to different inputs. So the player can choose their own context sensitive uh, labels. But we need to map it to something to begin with. So our uh, menu system here, it's currently none. So what do we want to, to have here? Well, it's escape. If we hit escape, this should trigger. And save all. So that's it uh, for this one. We don't need to do anything else here. So venturing back to the uh, player controller, we we add it we add our uh, context menu here and compile so now we have added the context uh, and now we can actually use it so it's not activated by default we actually need to have some kind of input so if we again take a look at the character blueprint player we still have these so here, for example, is the input action jump. So we still need these. So we need to search for input action menu in our uh, PC base. Input action menu. There it is. So what happens when we click menu? 
Well, we will quit the game. When it's triggered, we hit quit game. That is it. Compile and hitting uh, save all here. Uh, so we have made this new PC base. It's not hooked up yet. So the, the um, our character, our player is still using the C++ version. So we need to yet again venture into the project settings and um, find maps and modes. So here we can see our uh, game mode. It holds the character blueprint player, but in the play controller, it's the C++ class. So we just uh, choose our play controller base instead. So that's it. So if we now go in here and hit escape, we exit. Easy as pie. So that is the premise of enhanced input systems that is the new hot potato and uh, that is uh, the old system it's is deprecated and will no longer be used henceforth but uh, continuing with the next ep episode so stay awesome live long and prosper